So you want to know what I think of the new Nano Cortex. If you're new here, I'm Big Ed. I've been making records for 32 years. I've been a artist, a producer, a songwriter, a bandmate. And yeah, we talk about gear every now and then, so come on in. So this new Nano Cortex. Yeah, people keep asking me, oh, you were an early adopter of the Quad Cortex. Tell us about the Nano Cortex. Um, well, all I can say is we are a consumer society. We are a consumer society because in the last few days, my YouTube feed has been flooded with influencers who just make videos to sell you stuff. And they're all talking about the nanocortex. Most of them, if not all of them, hadn't had it yet. Well, I've seen it now and I've watched a bunch of demos about it. I took a deep dive and I'm here to say that it may work for some of you, but maybe for most of you it won't. And here's why. Part of my issue goes back to the neural company. So I was an early adopter of the quad cortex. I loved the quad cortex, the sound of the quad cortex. What I loved about it was is that I thought the amps sounded a little bit better, especially the clean amps than any other modeler I had used to that point. And I thought the format, which was, you know, smaller than a Helix, but not as be, you know, but a little bit bigger than an HX Stomp or an HX Stomp XL, and probably, uh, you know, it was a good compact size compared to some of the other modelers. I guess now the Fender Tone Master Pro has come out that's about the same size as the Quad Cortex. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong about that. Um, so the size was great. Um, I thought the switches were good, but maybe a tad, because of the size, a tad close together. You don't, you don't, obviously you don't have a volume or wah pedal or expression pedal like the Helix does. So you had to program that separately. And the biggest issue I had with it was that the many of the promises that the neural company made when they put it on the market didn't come true for about a year. Yeah, so all the stuff they promised us when I bought it, it took a year for most of that stuff to take effect. So that kind of pissed me off. And they also promised us a desktop app, and that took two years to happen. In that time, I got rid of my quad cortex. Again, it's not because I didn't like it, but there were things about it I didn't love in addition to the issues with the company. And those were, I liked the effects better with my Line 6 stuff. All of the effects, like the de delays especially, reverbs, modulation, the compression, it's kind of a push, but there wasn't many options. And that was the other thing about the Quad Cortex. There weren't a ton of options of effects, but the effects in my Helix um, were far, far better. The reverbs, everything. I just thought they sounded better and had more variety. And yes, I was used to programming them. And yes, I love the Line 6 app and they keep updating their stuff all the time. So for those reasons, I got rid of the quad cortex. I don't miss it. I don't miss it. But this new nano cortex looks interesting. However, here's the thing to know. Seven effects, locked effects. That's it, right? You get gate, reverb, delay, capture, pitch, whatever. They're locked. That's it. You can't change too much about them like you could in the quad cortex. Also, there's no amp models. The part about the quad cortex I liked, there's no amp models. There's captures. Now, I did use some captures of my own and ones that I got off of the neural site that were excellent. So if you're okay with just doing captures, then get it because the neural the uh, the nano cortex is very small. It's it's like you know about a little bit bigger than a double pedal. 
Um, so for that, it's great, but there's not multiple switches. You can turn the knobs to get through different uh, settings and to change presets, but that's about it. Expression pedal in the back. The other thing that bugged me about it is for an item like this, and I guess they just couldn't fit it, they must have thought of this, an effects loop. Because if you're gonna be stuck with something this big, which is very pedal board friendly, but that they're static effects, you would love to have an effects loop to put stuff in there. So that's a deal killer for me. Um, it's a, not a deal killer for the, just for the capture only, but I liked the amps, right? I liked the amps in the quad cortex. So, and yeah, and, and static effects. That's a, that's, a, that's a no. I think it's like 550 bucks in America and about 500 euros in Europe, something like that. That's not a bad deal, but again, we seem to be a consumer society and because I know they're gonna sell out of these things because everybody's telling you to buy one and they're just flooding the market with videos when no one had even tried it yet. I mean, we are a bunch of suckers. And one of the reasons why I'm here is because I wanna help you save money. I've played all this stuff, I know about it, and I'm more than happy to share with you the 1,800 or so souls that follow me here. So my recommendation is thumbs down, unless it's a monetary um, thing where, you know, 500 is, round 500 is where you're, you're stuck. Size, you know, it's definitely a good size. And you're okay with captures and static effects. Like if you're a club player or you play in your church every Sunday, it might be okay. You know, you get up there, you, you play, you have your sound, you play through your, your set and you're good. You don't have a lot of switching around. Maybe that works for you. And around the $500 price point is good. But for me, no. I don't think for many players, but boy, oh boy, they're gonna sell a ton of them because I talked to my Sweetwater guy and they're flying off the shelves from all these influencers. Um, I'd rather influence you to save money and be better at making music. So I guess I'm a fool. <laughs>